Hey, in this video, I'll be reviewing the SanDisk Extreme SSD, running a quick speed test on it, and also comparing it with the Samsung T5 and T7 SSDs. So let's get right to it. The SanDisk Extreme supports the second generation USB 3.2 standard, and they claim read speeds of up to 550 megabytes per second. It's also compatible with Windows 7 and up, along with Mac OS X, El Capitan, and above. In addition to the inherent shock resistance of solid state drives, this one's got an IP55 rating, which means that it is splash proof, but not water resistant. So you still might not want to take this guy deep sea diving. Inside the box, you'll find the super tiny SSD, some documentation, and this short and thick reinforced USB type C to type C cable. They've gone with the dongle approach here by packing in a type A to type C adapter instead of another cable. I still would have loved to have had a separate USB type A to type C cable, but I guess this makes carrying the cable much easier. Oh, and the documentation we found earlier? We really don't need that right now. This one's built rugged and it's got indents all over the front side for extra grip, and that's perfectly complemented with a soft touch texture on the back. The USB type C port is located on the bottom, and the cutout in the body allows you to easily hook it up to a bag strap or a belt loop. But the most impressive part of this SSD is its size. The whole enclosure measures just 101 mm by 127 mm, with a depth of only 33 mm. Its thickness is much like that of a standard pencil. It comes pre-formatted out of the box as an XFAT disk and is good to go with PCs, Macs, and mobile devices alike. The speed test on this one was on par with other VNAND SSDs, giving about 375 megabytes per second write and 385 megabytes per second read when connected over the Thunderbolt 4 port on the Mac Mini. But what was surprising was the speed when connected over the USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. That was still giving speeds of up to 365 megabytes per second write and 360 megabytes per second read. Though these might not be the fastest of the speeds, it's still very well suited for externally extending your computer storage. And even with these speeds, it's still a champ at being a disc to edit videos off of. And that compact size makes it the perfect companion for any phone or tablet with a USB-C port. Coming to the comparison with the Samsung T5 and T7, it does put up a reasonable fight. Even though the Extreme is a bit slower than the T5 and can only deliver speeds of up to a third of what we see with the T7, its size and form factor outweigh the Samsung's. The lightweight structure and minimal footprint of the SanDisk Extreme are two things that the Samsung's lack. Also, the carabiner loop on the Extreme is a very practical feature that's missing from both Samsung SSDs. And while the Samsung SSDs still maintain the premium metal body design with faster data speeds, the SanDisk is much more compact, rugged, and lighter than both of the Samsung's. So if it's a more rugged, smaller, and lightweight form factor is what you're looking for, you won't go wrong with the SanDisk Extreme. You also won't go wrong if you subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more tech. Also, the links to the in-depth reviews of both the Samsung T5 and T7 are linked in the description below. So make sure you check those out after you're done watching this one and make sure you hit like if you found this one helpful. Thanks a ton for watching and catch you later. Bye-bye.